All right, guys, you were looking at the Nog Strongman. And for those of you who've been waiting for a fairly priced, uh, high security lock for your bike, this is probably a video you want to pay attention to. This is an outstanding lock. Uh, sells for on Amazon for about 70 bucks. There's a listing for it. Um, it has a 13 millimeter hardened shackle buried beneath this uh, thick silicone. This one is red. It comes in different colors, blue, white, etc. So you can color coordinate with your bike. Silicone is nice for several reasons. First of all, it prevents the lock from scratching your bike. Secondly, it's kind of neat, non-slip to hold onto even when wet. And it also insulates your hand from the cold metal so it doesn't stick to it on those really cold days. And lastly, the silicone is actually a press fit between the shackle and the body here. And here keeps water from draining down inside the lock. So really, really well designed. Doesn't rattle or anything like a lot of bike locks. It's a really perfect fit. Heavy duty, nice materials. Got a, it is a disc detainer lock, which also is a big plus. When you take a look at that key, another big plus you probably notice is how thin those discs are. So previous lock pick, the Chinese one, wouldn't allow me to pick this, even if I could get it into the keyway, because the head on it, the tip on it, would probably grab two or even three of those discs. You have to pick it at the same time. So picking was a virtual impossibility. Another thing, notice how deeply that goes inside of the lock in order to get it open. Rotates 180 degrees, and then we get a nice open. All right, when I, let's, let me put my thumb right there just and pull it straight out. It's just so I can hold it up here and show you how deep inside of the body of this lock that the locking mechanism is. So we've really got to reach down inside of there past this thing. It has a shutter on it to make things even worse for lock pickers. Um, I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to slide it past the shutter and I'm, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed. It feels like it went to the back and I'm going to try to rotate all the discs as far clockwise as I can get them. What I will tell you, uh, another big plus uh, going for this lock is that at least two of these discs feel like they have a um, false gate in them, which makes it that much harder to pick. So again, if you're looking for a pretty good lock at a really fair price, 70 bucks, this is probably worth a, a good look. All right, I'm going to slide my pick in. I'm going to rotate him until he kind of engages, like right about there. And then I'm going to slide the tip of that pick all the way in past all those gates. I want him all the way in the back. And see, he's already, already hung up. Should have slid him in there to begin with. There we go. Now let's try. Slide him all the way in. Now we'll tension it. Even better, Bill. All right, I think I can zoom in a little bit. Hopefully you guys can kind of see what kind of feedback I'm getting on this new tool that Lockpicking Lawyer and I put together. I am tensioning it. I'm going to pull it out a little bit to make sure that the tip of that, those two prongs, aren't grabbing two discs. And I think that is just about it right there. Now I'm just going to rotate it and start extracting it out until I engage the first disc. And right there it is. Notice it's not exactly on a line. They rarely are. I'm hoping for the best. All right, I'm applying pretty good tension. Now the inside of these, to make things even nicer, the inside of these discs feel like they are rounded off, which makes, you really got to balance that tip on there to get it to engage, and it slides off so easily. That one's binding. I think we're in a gate right there. Let me keep moving up the stack. We can always come back to them and we probably will. There's another binder. Again, I fell off, but I think it fell into the gate. Feels like it. Let me keep moving up the stack. He, yeah, there he is. I was going to say he's not binding, but I think he is. Definitely making my life hard here. Get on there. I think he's in the gate. Let me keep moving up. I think this is one that has a false gate. I'm going to leave him right there. I think that's the width of one of the real gates. I'm going to leave him. So let's try this guy.
thing with him. I'm gonna leave him right there. Leave him right there. And I think we'll reach the end of the stack here. I drew a blue line on there to let me know I'm right at the tip. And I think we are set there. I think that is the gate. I'm gambling here. I think that's the gate too. It feels like the gate too, right there. I felt a slight turn on the core, and there we go. Open on the nog. You guys can see how difficult this was to pick, which is a really good thing from a security standpoint. So again, if you're looking for a quality lock, I think we have finally found one. Take a look at the nog. I get nothing from them, no kickback, no rebate. I'm not gonna give you an affiliate link. Go into Amazon and grab it direct from one of the dealers of your choice. Appreciate your time, guys. Stay safe. Stay legal. If you like the idea of growing the LockSport community, please consider supporting the Lock Lab by either becoming a Patreon or clicking the Join button below.